Welcome back to Trivia Trap. Junior partners have $150. Our senior partners have $150. We're all tied up and ready to go again. John, it's your turn this time. You've seen the top row of answers. Tom and Jerry, Paul and Fred, Cy and Gar, and Compton and Green. Now, on the bottom row, new set of answers. Take a look at these, if you would, please. Mm -hmm. Tokyo, L.A., Mexico City, and Detroit. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Top row or bottom row? For the top row. Gonna go up to the top row. Let's get rid of Tom and Jerry in the game. Here we are. Here's the question. <laughs> Under what name did Simon and Garfinkel first appear? Under what name did Simon and Garfinkel first appear? You can go for it. Give me the correct answer for $100, play it safe, and eliminate an incorrect answer for 50 What would you like to do, John? I think I'd like to play it safe and eliminate Comden and Green. I'm going to play it safe and eliminate Comden and Green. Is he correct in doing that? <laughs> Bullseye says you are, John. $50 for your team. Addie, you know your choices. Go for it or play it safe. What would you like to do? I've got to play it safe and eliminate Paul and friends. All right, Addie wants to cut the answer, Paul and friends. Can she do that? Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't yeah. know how well the seniors would do with this question, but you're doing just fine. Now, Bonnie, you have to go for it. It's worth $100. Let me repeat the question to you. Under what name did Simon and Garfunkel first appear? Is the correct answer Tom and Jerry or Cy and Gar for $100? The seniors know the answer. It's Tom and Jerry. You think it's Tom and yes. Jerry? You sound awfully confident. Yes, Is I she am. right? Is it Tom and Jerry? <laughs> seniors do know the answer. Yes, it is. Hundred dollars goes to your team. Wonderful. Okay, I'm really surprised the seniors knew about Simon and Garfunkel. Let's go down now to the juniors. Tim, it's your turn. You have $150. They have $400. You have to do some catching up. And you've already seen the bottom row of answers. They're Tokyo, Los Angeles, or L.A., Mexico City, and Detroit. Now, up on the top row, new group of answers. Singing waiter, toupee salesman, silk walker, fencing instructor. What will it be? Top or bottom row for you? <laughs> I'm going to go with the top one. You like the top row? <laughs> Sounds like fun. Here we go. Here's the question. Which of these jobs did Cary Grant work at before he made it as an actor? Ooh, which of those jobs did Cary Grant work at before he made it as an actor? You know your decisions. You have to either go for it for $100 or play it safe for $50. What would you like to do? Oh, I'm going to play it safe. And uh, eliminate... <laughs> Stilt Walker. Tim says he wants to play it safe and eliminate Stilt Walker. Is he correct in doing that? <laughs> no. That's what he was. Cary, Cary Grant was a Stilt Walker before he made it as an actor. That means the $50 comes over to the senior side. And Addie, you get to pick some answers now. Again, you have seen the bottom row of answers. Those cities are Tokyo, L.A., Mexico City, and Detroit. Addie, take a look at the new group of answers. Here they come. Up top, Isaac Asimov, Norman Mailer, Truman Capote, Peter Benchley. Will it be the guys or the city? How do you tell me? Hey, guys, anytime. <laughs> yeah, you will. All right, top row of answers are yours. Here's the question. What author played a lead role in Neil Simon's movie, Murder by Death? Go for it for $100 or play it safe for 50 I'm going to play it safe and eliminate Peter Benchley. Addie's going to play it safe. Eliminate Peter Benchley. She thinks that is an incorrect answer. Is she right in doing that? <laughs> yes, you are. Bullseye says $50 for your team. When I asked the question, I saw Bonnie smile. She acts like she knows the answer. Bonnie, you know what you have to do. You can either go for it, give me the correct answer for $100, or play it safe. What would you like? Well, I'm going to go for it. Are you really? Okay, yes, let me repeat the question. Yes. What author played a lead role in Neil Simon's movie, Murder by Death? For $100, what is the correct answer? Truman Capote. Say it's Truman Capote. Everybody nods their head. Do you know at home out there? We'll see. Is Truman Capote the correct answer to this question? He is. Yes, indeed. All right. And that means you are successful in going for it. You have $600. Senior partners and Kathy, let's go down to you. That's okay. You still have time to catch up. But you got to hurry. I will tell you that. Take a look. Well, you've seen the cities, as I said before. Tokyo, L.A., Mexico City, and Detroit. Now, up on the top row, we will have a new set of trivia trap answers. A carload, an ocean, a bathtub, or a tidal wave. Will it be the cities, or will it be those circumstances? Let's go for the top circumstances. Oh, go up there, yeah. up on top. Yeah. All right. Cool. Here's the question. Good luck to you now. Mm. The coasters have a hit song called Poison Ivy. 
in that song, how much calamine lotion does it take to ease the suffering? Go for it and give me the correct answer for 100 or play it safe. Yeah? I'm going to go for it. Are you really? Let me I'm repeat the question. This is one of those questions I know the seniors probably know because the coasters are a long time ago. Let's see if the juniors do, though. The coasters have a hit song called Poison Ivy. In that song, how much calamine lotion does it take to ease the suffering? Kathy's going to go for it for $100. What is your answer? It takes an ocean. You think it does? I know it does. it does. I know Allison it does. Allison thinks it does. <laughs> Let's see. Does it take an ocean of calamine lotion? Let's find out right now. Yes, it does. Juniors pick up another $100. $600 over here for the seniors, $250 for the juniors. We're going to pause for a couple of commercial words, but there was one group of categories that we never did get to ask a question about. That was the one with the cities, Tokyo, Los Angeles, Mexico City, and Detroit. Let me ask you at home the question. See what kind of a trivia buff you are. The most McDonald's hamburgers eaten in one day at one restaurant was 17,000. Where did that occur? You at home, think about it for just a moment. We'll be right back with the answer to that question, and we'll play our exciting trivia race. See you next.